Hi people, it's Archivist here coming at you with the weekly roundup, where I cover three random gaming stories from the past week. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor came out this week and a quick glance at Metacritic shows that the reviewers are happy. As of this video being made, the critics have given the game an average score of 85, whereas the users have given the game an 87. Giant Bomb gave the game a perfect score, saying it's the most fun they've had with an open world game in a very long time. Destructoid on the other hand were not as impressed, granting the game a 6 out of 10. However, Shadow of Mordor is not the only critically acclaimed game out right now, with Forza Horizon 2 besting it narrowly with a score of 86. Windows 10 has been announced, which seems to be like a mix of Windows 7 and 8 from a UI perspective. Rather than having a dedicated tile page that currently exists in Windows 8, it will now be incorporated into the start menu. However, as a gamer, the biggest question I have is whether or not Windows 10 will bring increased performance. After all, if the OS is poorly optimised, the gaming experience will inevitably be affected. Windows 8 promised improvements over its predecessor for certain games such as Battlefield 4, but there weren't really any drastic changes, if any. Many gamers, as well as big businesses, still favour Windows 7, so it's up to Microsoft to convince users to upgrade. With the buzz surrounding Bayonetta 2 at the moment, many have wondered if the game will eventually be available on other platforms aside from the Wii U. Sadly, developer Platinum Games have pretty much confirmed that Bayonetta 2 is a permanent exclusive, by saying that players may as well ask for Zelda and Mario as well. In other words, it's ultimately Nintendo's decision as to whether or not the game goes multi-platform. Platinum have also said that Bayonetta 2 probably wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for Nintendo's aid, which is a very important factor to consider. Bayonetta 2 is thought to have the potential to be a system seller by some, however I would have to disagree. Not because it's a bad game, as reviews would suggest quite the opposite, but instead because it's such a niche product. Other big Wii U games such as Mario Kart and Smash Bros have a very broad appeal, drawing people in from many demographics. Bayonetta 2 is just a bit too edgy, which will really please some, but not everyone. This was the weekly roundup. If you have anything to say on the topics covered, be sure to let me know in the comments below. As always, people, thanks very much for watching, and see you next time.